put us live right now so we are live uh hello uh you might remember me from yesterday uh i played sav royal jewels mission for the game boy advance uh that was a pretty fun run except for fde interrupting me that was also that was not fun <laughs> how dare he <laughs> yeah so yeah the game i'm going to show off Today, though, is Secret Agent Barbie for the PC. Um, this came out 2001, and I'm excited to show it off. Yeah. So, All right. sh should I count us in? Uh, yeah, whenever you are ready. Actually, I need I need uh, 28 hours. Uh, no. <laughs> ah, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. So, if, if you're familiar with my streams, uh, recently I've been skipping this introduction cutscene, but uh, for this marathon, I might as well just show it, you know? Because you get to know about the lore of the Hi, game. Great and job on our last mission. Thank here's you, the first Becky. piece of but interesting information. Good. Apparently, you're Barbie's right. coming back We're from another team, random Barbie. mission. We what this mission is, we There's have no idea. Really and what it could be. Well, Doesn't time. matter, but apparently new after this first mission, start. she needs to learn how to do actual secret agent stuff perfect. through these Let's VR go. training uh, mini-games right uh, that Becky's about to show us in a very slow walk. But I promise, Barbie's not this slow the entirety of the game, but the funny thing about these tutorials is that you can just skip them. They're, they're relevant. Don't, don't worry about them. <laughs> Uh, and so here's where the main part fun. of the game, hey kid, of the lore, starts. Uh, basically, really got those moves down we're yeah. about to get a call from a good friend of ours. I'll, I'll let it play for a second. That's your emergency phone. Barbie here. Hey Barbie, it's Teresa. Hi, hi Teresa. Hi Teresa. How's the fashion yeah. show treating you? Uh, FDE oh, loves to say hi Teresa here, and this is where it storm. originated Actually, from, that's what and I that's pretty about. funny. I need your help, Barbie. I can't talk about it now. Can you fly to New York where we can <laughs> so, meet in secret? Of course. I need to fly to New York because to of a secret show? mission that Teresa wants us to do. But now. she's gonna tell us you once we get there. You know we're all here uh, which we're definitely gonna be hearing this, and we're never gonna give up on Teresa. Obviously, we have no reason to skip this at all. Yeah. This this introduction cutscene is very boring to start a speedrun with, which is exactly why we permit runners to skip it and just go straight to the first level. Because this is around two and a half minutes of just nothing gameplay. Um, played around like two years of this game before uh, we skipped this introduction cutscene. <laughs> All the high Teresas. FDE will be happy. Once you're ready to visit a new place, you can come here and use the map. And here we're gonna go to our first level, which is New York City, if I can click it properly. Uh, yeah, the loading times are a little bit long, kind of, sometimes, it depends. They're a little bit random, but hopefully they won't be too bad. Uh, as you can see, New York has a lot of boxes in it. We'll I'm sure that's accurate to the game. Uh, and basically, this game is different from most other computer games. Definitely not most other Barbie games, but we use actually the arrow keys in this game, we'll which is kind of interesting. Outfit. Remember when I said we were going to talk to Teresa? Yeah, we're not. Uh, we're going to actually go out of bounds in New York, and it's pretty crazy. Um, we just stay around this grass, which is usually inaccessible. And we're basically at the end of the level right here. Uh, we go to the store. And we go through here, and there's the queue to end the level. Hmm. A ticket to the Embassy Ball in Paris. Okay. So hey here guys, I'm going to do what's called an alt-tab. 
Uh, I'll explain the alt tab in a second, but... We should put on my formal gown. Our next level is Paris, which hey Barbie, I also uses another one of the alt tabs. Um, Let's go up and talk to so basically the way the alt tab works is that it delays cutscenes from happening. And what we did there was that we let- Ah, oh, fuck. No, okay. <laughs> I literally softlocked the game. There's no way. Right, I have to restart the game, actually. That's really oh, bad. Oh, no. Well, that's I, okay. I went we I went too it. fast there, unfortunately. That's what happens when you enter a fade out or fade in, basically. But like the black ah. is still on the screen, but you have to change costume. You uh, it it's, it does not lead to a good result because you can't click on the other part. Load, load. So that's okay. Oh, okay. We're gonna go back to Paris. The game auto saves, so we don't have to worry about that. Hey oh, okay. I ended the timer, but I'll just start it again. Whatever. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, you said restart the game, so. Well, yeah, I, I, I did have meant, to restart. Like, I had to restart. I thought you meant like reset game. the run, but that's oh, well. okay. <laughs> I'm at like five minutes on my timer right now. Okay. Uh, as, as you've noticed, we can change costumes in this game. Right now, we're in the stealth suit. Um, the stealth suit, we can roll under lasers, which. They can be a bit harder than you might expect uh, to roll under. There's some especially hard lasers towards the end of the game in the level. Actually, I won't spoil the final level, but <laughs> they they get a bit tricky, to say the least. Uh, here, we can just walk barely past this guard uh, if you go fast enough. It's kind of interesting. I used to wait for the guard to just go past in older runs, but you know. A daisy. Okay. Here's one of the PTA first puzzles of the game, of where we just gotta put the pieces in the right screen. place. That was not the piece I wanted to grab, but that is okay. <laughs> and that's the puzzle. Uh, it's just, you gotta slide things into the right place, and you win the game. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, here we go into an underground section where we have a lot of, here we go, two more lasers to go through. And after that's the end of this level. Laser one and laser two. Pretty simple. Hey, what's this? Hmm. These aren't Teresa's. Uh one right? thing you might have noticed okay. during like my first alt tab is that on the map select screen I had hey, two choices hey, of a location to go to. Um the first the one that I chose right. personally uh, when right now, that split happens is Paris. We go to both levels anyways during the run, but Where should we go now? I just Tokyo. like I just like Paris, but the second level that we're gonna be or the third level, no, I'm sorry. Third level that we're going to is Tokyo One. Once you're ready um, to visit a new place, you can come here and in, in Japan, map. obviously. Well, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty interesting level. Go. Um it's got some tricks in it Which that I'll be showing off. Wear? Barbie has um chopsticks in her hair, which is Definitely not something people in Japan do at all. It's kind of culturally appropriating, Mrs. but you know. Yes, oh well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barbie, one of Teresa's friends. It happens. No, it doesn't. But <laughs> it's 2001. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, you might notice that Mrs. Tanaka. Part of Mrs. Tanaka's hair was missing. You might have noticed that Christie's hair was also missing uh, in like the introduction cutscene. There's something in this game where the texture of just solid black just does not render properly and just appears as transparent. It's really weird. You'll see it in a couple places at the run. That's definitely not intended, but it happens. It's just a quirk of modern computers playing old games for some reason. Uh, here we have the action suit where we're able to jump. Mr. Johnson's gonna run and we're... The game tries to make us think that we have to chase him, but that's not what we're actually really meant to do. Uh, what we do for the speedrun is we just wait for the wrist glider to appear. You might have noticed at the bottom left there are a ton of gadgets that we get to use, uh, and I'll start using one right now. It's called the wrist glider, and we can go up to higher areas with it, with specific places. Look at that. Greatest UI of the world. <laughs> uh, now we're on the rooftops of this level. We are... At the rooftops, yep, I, I already said that. <laughs> uh, and then here, 
we we take a look at Mr. Johnson through the window of the rooftop, and we take a picture of him. Pretty simple. Uh, in which he promptly gets the heck out of the house and just runs. I don't know why he runs. He I don't think he noticed us, but he runs. But he leaves the front door open. Now, a fun fact about this level is that. While the front door is open, the back door also opens uh, in this house, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but And we don't even change costume, but it's kind of out of the way, and it's just not worth going to for the speedrun. Okay, uh, I'm gonna re-roll this just because I'm bad at slide puzzles. <laughs> yeah, we have quite a lot of slide puzzles in these games, but they're all 3x3, three three, so they're not that bad, but sometimes RNG just doesn't... It just doesn't work with you, and it'll just screw you over. <laughs> the lore. It's evolving. <laughs> there were also some other clues there. Plane tickets to Egypt, and a paper with the store name Majestic Marketplace. I think the thieves are headed for gathering materials to try and duplicate Trita's clothing, so they can sell her designs. Yeah, when you play this game a lot, you start to get used to a lot of the voice lines, and I've gotten pretty good at it from memory a lot of them. I messed up a little bit there, but, you know. Oh well, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, as you can see, Teresa's hair is transparent from the glitch earlier, so are a lot of the screens on, like, the backgrounds. Because a lot of those just use straight up black, and they just break. Barbie's legs in specific costumes can also break because of it. And you might also notice Becky's wheels, gone. She doesn't need them. Yeah, she's just that good of a character. <laughs> I remember when I was first running this game to Twitch, a lot of my friends hated Becky just because of how much she would just have a role in the game, I guess. I don't really know why. FDE definitely hated her a lot, uh, as well as some other friends, which is pretty funny. But, you know, I've... Becky's okay with me, personally. <laughs> yeah, what, with how, ma how many skips we're doing, you might not realize it, but we're skipping quite a bit of the game uh, through skipping both New York and um, Paris, and we're missing out on a lot of plot, which is okay. If you're interested, because I do a lot of glitches in this game, if you're interested in a glitchless run of this game, uh, I believe they're on my YouTube channel. Actually, I'm not sure if I actually uploaded them now that I think about it. I don't know. Glitchless possibilities are very much there for speedrunning. This is a absolutely broken level. We are in Egypt, by the way, uh, if you couldn't tell. Because... Uh, as we all know, Egypt is just a desert. So, in this level... Oh, we have to alt-tab back in. Uh, in this level, we alt-tab a lot. I think there's a total of five alt-tabs. Um, a common misconception with alt-tabbing is that you can walk through walls. I don't know who claimed this, but it is very much wrong. You cannot go through walls. We you can only go through cutscene zones. <laughs> I know I did not say that. I don't know who did. Um, you know, I actually thought that this whole time, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not true at all. A lot of That's the okay. walls that we go through uh, in this game, they're we already go-throughable, it's just that the cutscenes prevent us from going through them, so... Mm, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why we go through the Paris doors. Ah, sure. uh, as you can see here, Zab Kitty Cat, and they're the best kitty cat in my heart, other than my own cat, but, you know, they're a close fourth. <laughs> I have a lot of cats, okay? Leave me alone. Um, here is a good example of cutscene glitches in action. So here, we're gonna have, like, two cutscene glitches happen, like, at once, essentially. So what we do here is, uh, there's like a little slip on the floor that activates a cutscene, but instead we hit this door, 
to activate a cutscene, then we hit the slip to activate another cutscene, and then we use the uh, the perfume well tracker to activate another cutscene. So what cutscene glitches are is that when two cutscene glitches are happening at the same time, if one ends but one is still going, you are still able, after it ends, you are able to move again, uh, which is really interesting. But it's only if two cutscenes happen at the same time, and that's basically what we have had happen. There's a cutscene right here, but you can jump over it, because, you know, why wouldn't you? This game was developed in probably five minutes. Uh, here's another alt tab that I will be doing. Basically, there's a long panning Almost shot, but if you fall off, uh, it just skips it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And then our fifth alt tab is coming up. I, it's, it's one of the hardest, harder alt tabs in the game. You go on this wall, aim towards the left of this roof, alt tab. And then you'll hit this lady cutscene, which starts another cutscene glitch. And because that cutscene ends, we're able to move in this one. Hope that explains cutscene glitches somewhat. <laughs> and that's Egypt 1, one of the most broken levels in this game. So we're basically done with part one of the game. There's three parts of the game, but we're done with act, I guess you'd call it act one, but I just call it part one. Uh, same difference thing. <laughs> um, so upcoming, we're gonna be having a split, a route split of three levels that we were able to choose. While the first one, Paris and Tokyo, don't really matter that much, you can do them in any order that you really want to. Uh, this next one actually does matter because of certain cutscenes that play if you do certain levels first and then levels later. So, it's good to know. So, the route that I will be taking is New York, then Paris, then Tokyo. That's what I'm going to be doing, just because it skips the most time in cutscenes. Yes, I have laughed this game out. No, I do not have a life. <laughs> Up oh, there's Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Yeah. I don't think FDE's here, but I think he'd be very happy to see Teresa. FDE's a big fan of Teresa, you know? He just... He was love at first sight, even though Teresa's way out of his league. <laughs> by a <my> mile. <mild. laughs> also fictional, but, you know, it is what it is. So, where should we go first? Living the Barbie life, exactly. New York City. Uh, I missed that cutscene. I, I usually memorize that one pretty well. Okay, so the first level that we are going to is New York 2. Which is a kind of... I don't expect myself to get the... There's a specific strat here, but if I miss it, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm still going to try and go for it where you can go in front of Mr. Johnson. We're going to be chasing Mr. Johnson. Also, <laughs> at, like, at the second part of the game, this is our first introduction to Camille. Um, she's one of the fashion designers at the tent that we visited earlier that we also promptly skipped. Um, there was meant to be a cutscene there, but again, we skip a lot of the lore of this game. Um, so yep, yeah. hi Camille. I hope she is a good character and doesn't screw us over towards the end of the game. I don't know. Anything could happen. Yeah, the red hair is great. <laughs> I guess. Oh yeah, uh, that character right there is Mr. Johnson. I almost forgot to introduce him. He's also one of- he's like a director at the fashion tent. Um, You'll see this blue thing coming up in a couple of seconds. You'll just kind of see in the background now of this blue tent. This is where fashion shows happen, uh, and Mr. Johnson's the director of one of them. Um, and, you know, it's been a while since we've seen him. Uh, it's been a little while. Oh yeah, we have to wait here for a second because it's a cutscene, and then we gotta go in front of Mr. Johnson, get the camera, and then we take a beautiful picture of him, and that's the level. Glorious. That's right. I think you should and if you choose Paris 2 or Tokyo 2 first, this cutscene is a lot longer. It's like 
six seconds longer. It's not that we much, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's a strat here where you can get under this first laser, uh, cause you can move during fade out, or fade in, for a little bit, and you can move yourself closer to the laser. Uh, I was at a bad angle, so I'm not gonna go for it, but you can get under that. It is very possible. Yeah, th these are some of the harder lasers of the game, especially this third one over here, where I made it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Th those lasers can be pretty tough if you're beginning the game, basically. So here we're going to take an intentional hit for laser cycles, because one thing you'll notice is that when I hit this laser and it's starting going down, it's all the way up there now. So we can skip that a little bit. You can get under this laser. It's really hard though. I'm really bad at it. Everyone else who plays the game is really good at it. I'm bad at it, so I don't go for it. And here we have to hide behind this box quite badly. Uh, we don't hide really well, but you know. That guard doesn't notice us because, fun fact about this game, guards are blind. They're entirely blind. So if you were keeping up with the lore, you're gonna know that we have to go to this pillar in the middle of uh, Paris. What, were you not paying attention? I just thought it was pretty clear. Anyways, <laughs> this pillar has a puzzle here. It's not a slide puzzle, it's just click on the thing, get the right thing, that's the combination. A lot of these puzzles have the same combination every time, except for two. Um, but one of those two we skip in the run, so I'll point out the one when we get to it. Uh, here's an action section where we can jump. Uh, and we sure are jumping. Barbie's, Barbie's pretty good at it. I wish a lot more of this game was the action sections, because those are by far the funnest parts of the game. Just jumping around and having fun, you know? Uh, here we're gonna perform another alt-tab. Um, so this... I meant to use pink vision here and get a combination, but this combination is the same every time. But when you hit this last one, you can alt tab through it and hit another one, Great which job, will give you the fail like it. animation or trigger. And because the fail trigger is short, we're now able to move. We're normally not able to move here. And one thing I'm going to do here is we're going to interrupt the voice lines by going back. Yep. Yep, and then, there we go, we skip both of those. And now, we are in Tokyo 2. Something I'm gonna do, actually, is go back into the level. This has nothing to do with the run, it's just, you might have noticed, the Eater 1 music was still playing the whole time, um, and I, I was supposed to do that in New York, but, oops. But now, now the music's not being overlaid. It's a bit of an issue with the speedrun, where, due to how much we glitch Egypt, we don't trigger the cue to skip the music. Or to stop the music, I mean. Um, but yeah, I, you can- there's a toggle to turn off the music in the game, so you can just do that if you want. Pretty simple. Uh, I usually just play background music whenever I play the game, so... If you need a solution and something to- Something to keep your ears busy, other than the glorious voice lines, you can just do that. Pretty simple. As long as we can hear normal game audio, we'll accept the run. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we're back in Tokyo, but you might notice that we're in the New York outfit. Uh, if you do, it's only in this route that, uh, for some reason when, when you exit Paris, you don't switch to the Tokyo outfit. It's weird, I don't know why that happens like that, but you just don't. We, get up there. Uh, we did an another alt tab here, because if you go the intended route, you have a lot of cutscenes happen to you, and we don't like that. We don't like cutscenes in this game. We don't like waiting time. Uh, and yep, we just go here. This puzzle is entirely random. Uh, it's basically, I think, Mastermind, I think Sharif calls it. Something like that. Ooh, that was a bit unlucky. None correct. Oh wow, this is really unlucky already. Okay, this one's orange then. That was really unlucky, but you know, oh well. 
it happens. <laughs> that looks like a broken uh, bottle. yeah, if you followed the lore correctly, this is a big moment. We're in the pagoda, the and there's a broken bottle of dye because we're supposed to chase the mysterious thief into this pagoda. But because we skip it, we don't really see that. Um, Barbara doesn't pick up the dye. I don't really know why. I feel like that would have been smart, but when has Barbie ever had an IQ higher than a fish? It, it is what it is. <laughs> he got away again. Wordle is word masterminds. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Shape Wordle. Yep. Wordle. Uh, the second one happens in the final level, but we skip it because the final level is just about equally or just as broken as the as the first level. We should change my album. Oh yeah, here's something. We're gonna be going to Rio. Are you guys excited? This is funky level Maybe that we, we don't choose from the map first. select. We just get put right into it instantly. Uh, so normally you're supposed to talk to a hotel lady, but uh, you don't need to. Quite simply. Maybe we That's a lot of this run. You could do something if you want. You don't have to. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna be clicking the gadget here to just skip a lot of the dialogue, because when you do specific dialogues, you can, like, interrupt already existing dialogues, and you can just skip right through them. It's weird, and it doesn't always apply for some reason. I don't know why, but it, it works there, so that's what we know. <laughs> here, we're gonna go near this wall, because if you go towards the front of this door, you actually get sent back, but if you go towards this wall... Uh, you get put in quite easily. Um, so basically, we're going to be meeting a woman named Maria Javier to discuss the Jastambi plant, and, you know, because, you know, that's the lore of this game. Uh, I just kind of forget the lore, all things considered. I've been playing Glitch for too long. Oh yeah, here we just go up behind Maria Javier. We don't even talk to her. We just sneak up behind her, use the perfume tracker, which tracks her. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting. And we just skipped that entire 40 second cutscene. There's a lot going on in this game, if you cannot tell. <laughs> Look on your map and you can see a dot moving around. That dot is the person you just sprayed. You'll also see an No, okay, so that's not correct, Pebbles. In this level, we grab a piece of the die, lore-wise. Um, it's more towards the end of the level, so we'll see it that soon. Uh, so here, uh, even though there was clearly not a lab over there, when over the door, there was just water. Um, if you hit this guard, not actually go into the door, this is one of the few areas where you have to kill the guard and then... Um, you, you just get put in automatically. The actual door itself doesn't work. But now we're in a lab. I'm going to do something interesting here, similar to what we did in Paris 2. I'm going to hit this first laser for better cycles. As you can see, the lasers go down faster, so... It's useful for cycles. <laughs> um, there is a way to just pass through those, and... Because the main, the main reason we do this is because... If you don't do those two lasers, that laser is basically coming down on you. If you're fast enough, you can go past it without hitting any lasers at first, but it's really difficult. I've done it single digit amount of times ever. <laughs> it's really hard to do. Uh, here's a really weird camera angle that we have to work with. It, it trips up a lot of new players, but I've been playing this game for two years and Nothing phases me anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, as you can see, because we made it past the first laser faster than intended, Maria Javier is like, she missed some like cues to walk, and so now she's behind us. It was kind of funny. We walked past her originally. There's more places that that can happen, but uh, that's the main speedrun one that can happen. There is also a way to despawn Maria Javier entirely. I've only had it happen once, and I don't know the cause of it. <laughs> it was weird. 
So yeah, here's where we get where we're meant to get the die, but the devs didn't consider that we could just take a picture of the mysterious thief and instead of going to towards the back door to grab the die, we can just take a picture of the mysterious thief. Uh, we still don't know who he is, so I'm excited to find out at some point. I don't know when we're gonna find out though, so hopefully we can figure that mystery out. Um, so that's so we're entering one of the harder levels of the game. But before that, we have a slide puzzle here. Um, to figure out who this mysterious thief is. Um, I know it's not that big of a reveal, but if you played the game normally. This would be kind of interesting of a reveal, I guess. It would make sense, you know, because we haven't met the actual thief yet in this speedrun. We haven't talked to them normally because we skipped it in New York 1, but here we get to find out. Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Johnson. The thief is Mr. Johnson. Yeah, if if you've played this game before, you, you basically instantly notice that Mr. Johnson was the thief that we've been chasing for a long time. Uh, but if you go to the speedrun route, I guess it is kind of a surprise, so that's nice, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe Mr. Johnson would do this to us, uh, though. It's crazy. Press 1 in chat if, you're, if you feel betrayed. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to be going to the third level of Tokyo. I don't know why, but we do. Actually, no, we're going to talk to Mrs. Tanaka. And I'm going to try to skip here. Uh, if we have to go back to the main menu because I softlock, that's okay. Because we can just... Again, the game autosaves, so we can just redo the run. Or redo this level. And it's right at the beginning, so it's not that big of a deal either way. So this, for some reason, in Rio 2, and I missed that. Oh no, I didn't. I actually got it. Okay. Yeah, it, the the compact gadget acts as a cutscene. And it's only in those two levels. Tokyo 3, the Tokyo 3 warehouse that we're about to enter, and Rio 2. I don't know why they did that, but they sure did. <laughs> There's a lot of questionable decisions made in this game. But, you know, like, here's a questionable decision. If you get ahead of Mr. Johnson here, he starts going backwards for some reason. Now, through normal means, that's not possible. But if you use the jetpack cheat, it is possible. And he starts going backwards, which is really weird. Okay, here we are entering the warehouse. As you can see, during this black part, uh, like Faden, we're able to move. So... Where you're able to move in most importantly the action suit so yeah and here it's really weird with the gadget the cutscene glitch activates but you're not actually put into a cutscene it's really weird i don't know why they did that but it happens here's box jump i missed it it's pretty hard jump uh but it's not that bad but oh well Actually, this is the hardest jump in the game, uh, I, I'm mistaken. But third try is not too bad, right. definitely still Did saves it. time from going the usual route. The and we're back to the stealth suit. Ahead. Like, there's a massive, like, box part there, but we just skip it. Because we're epic. And we're Barbie. We're secret agent Barbie. So here's our first introduction, if you don't do the tutorials, to... The spy puppy. This is a gadget where we can lure guards into rooms that they will get trapped in. Uh, we see him more times than uh, in Sad GPA, which I. Uh, I'm glad he gets more representation. <laughs> that's that's kind of all I'm trying to say here. We stand a spy puppy. Uh, oh yeah, I caused another cutscene glitch here, and the portal door opens. I don't know why they have portal doors in this game. It's weird, but, you know, that's okay. Um, there's a guard in our way here. We just destroy him with the compact. Oh yeah, the compact hits guards. I don't know. I should have probably explained that in the first level. <laughs> Hope you guys were not confused the whole time. <laughs> 
Uh, here's another cutscene glitch that we do. Where we can skip this massive cutscene, and we can interrupt the lines again through clicking the... We should use a different gadget. Try and get the we should use a different gadget. We, we can just spam it basically, gadget. and it we works. Should, we should use a different gadget. We get another use of the spy puppy. This one's short lived though. Um, not that long. Wow, Barbie, you Shout out spy puppy. Job. Very true. All right, cool. And we're out of Tokyo Why three. That level could have gone a lot worse. Uh, it's a pretty sorry, difficult level, especially the first part that. with the cutscene. Uh, skip with Mrs. Tanaka, so glad that went well. I thought I softlocked it for a second, because if you do it a frame early, you softlock and you have to go into the main menu, then re-enter the level again. It's weird how it works, but yeah. We only have four levels left of the game. We're in the third part of the game now, um, and two of them are kind of nothing. One of them's something, and the other one's the final level, which is actually really hard uh, to go fast in, at least. But that final level, we'll find out in, I don't know, 15 minutes? That's probably an overestimate. Or a... An underestimate, no, yeah. We're, we might be there in a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I do know that the oh yeah, Pinky loves to do Smasher Path with that one specific cutscene, because why the fuck not, you know? Fucking Pinky. Um, oh yeah, in that cutscene, we it gets revealed that, uh, it's not Mr. Johnson that's the super mastermind, but he is in, in the plan, but he's not the mastermind of the plan. It's actually Camille that we met in New York 2, who is like the master, the organizer of this super secret plan. The lore is messed up, I know, <laughs> and I don't blame you if you're not following along at all. It's it's confusing, and it's even more confusing for speedrun. Here we go to Rio. <laughs> I think you need to get uh, over there. An interesting fact about this level is that for some reason the music there's toggles in the settings for voice lines, music, and sound effects. For some reason, the music in this level is counted as a sound effect. I don't know why it is, but if you turn off music, this one still plays, and if you turn off sound effect, this one does not play. It's really weird. But you know, go off developers. Again, this game was made in five minutes really uh here's another alt tab um so through the course of this game we've been seeing things like side puzzles clicking puzzles and this next puzzle it's 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 a real one like it's 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 gonna test our abilities like a lot but first we gotta alt tab and get in here did i miss i think i missed whoops <laughs> That's not meant to happen. Okay, there we go. We activated the cutscene. We start interrupting the voice lines. And... Yeah, this puzzle is just an actual jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> that we have to do. Uh, I've memorized, like, all the pieces. But as a new player, this could be a little bit... Overwhelming. <laughs> it's just a, a literal jigsaw puzzle. Which... What else would it be, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of funny, but here we discover uh, where the Jostambi plant is from. Now, fun fact about the Jostambi plant is that it has no official spelling at all. We don't know how it's meant to be spelled at all. It's, it's up to interpretation how it's spelled. Basically, it's time to find <laughs> Teresa. I bet she's it's not in any ten. guide. Actually, in the README file for the game, um, there's like an entire guide of the game, but they never mention the Jostami plant once. Uh, an and yeah, fabric, I think they just res uh, we'll refer to it as the mysterious Already plant, which is colors. funny. <laughs> a great outfit, yeah, Thanks. it's kind of interesting. Okay, the suit is almost ready. Okay, here we do an alt tab to like skip like two seconds of dialogue. Oh, what? Look! Look at her! She's 
Maybe yep, we should look and there we go. Door. You skip like two seconds of dialogue there. That is, yeah, that's actually with the cutscene. That's the entire level, by the way. That's all of New York 3. It's just one cutscene inside of the tent. Which I don't know how they got access to the tent, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and yes, that counts to, that counted towards one of the four levels. Then we should get to Egypt before Camille does. So now we're going back to Egypt. Uh, so remember when I mentioned that in Egypt 1, the music glitches out? The music actually is supposed to get fixed here because we don't glitch it out enough that the music cue doesn't happen. And so that's where it ends the glitch usually. But I went to the main menu to just reset the music essentially. So we don't, you didn't, you guys didn't have to listen to two music tracks during like the whole run. <laughs> Yeah, here we go walking. We're supposed to talk to this lady, the Shop of Wonders lady, uh, but instead we go to this open area, um, and we all tap. Because this skips a massive part of the level. We need to put, maybe we should go the other way. It's like a lot of it. <laughs> and here we activate a cutscene. I've been trying to find out a way to somehow cutscene glitch this, but I have never been able to find a way. Because we have the things, we have like the, we need to go back more, but I, it, it just hasn't yeah. happened yet. But <laughs> considering how many skips are already in this game, I'm satisfied with what I found. Oh yeah, by the way, 99% of these skips were found by me. Uh, because I was bored during quarantine, and I felt like it. <laughs> There was one trick that I actually found out through, like, an IGN article, uh, but it's a bit outdated. It's in New York 1, where you can just go into the grass, uh, and it started me... It was basically what started me trying to find more skips in this game, to put it simply. Oh yeah, here we're back in the action suit. Uh, you can jump over this cutscene, but it's two seconds. And it's literally not worth it because you have to like go out of your way to do it. Here we see Camille run into a wall and disappear. Don't worry, that's normal. So long. So long. In the Russian version of this game, <laughs> all Barbie says is bye. That's all she says. <laughs> that is all Camille says instead of so long, it's bye. <laughs> so short. <laughs> And we're about to enter the final level, um, which is the Himalayas, uh, as mentioned in that cutscene. I don't know if you guys can hear game audio well, I assume they can, but that's what they said in that cutscene. And this is a pretty difficult level. So the first part of this level is the action suit, or mainly the action suit section, because as you're going to see, we do not go the intended route. We what we do is we jump up here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we jump over here. And then we jump over here. And we're out of bounds. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy skip. Uh, and the big part about this is that uh, we skip a costume switch to the stealth suit. And as you remember... The stealth suit is a lot slower than the action suit, so now we have the action suit in areas that the stealth suit usually does. But in turn, that makes it a little bit harder well, to make it past some of the lasers in some of the areas here. The so like, we go faster, but it's quite harder. But the Himalayas is just hard in general. Um, even with practice. So here's another section with the spy puppy. I caused a cutscene glitch by alt tabbing. Uh, and I was able to move during that one because I activated two cutscenes. And uh, get a quirk of that is that now I'm able to see the spy puppy's POV while chasing the guard. For that, only that guard. That's not meant to happen. I'm not meant to see the puppy's POV. I'm supposed to see the guard's POV. Like, this is how it's normally supposed to be. And that first one, it didn't happen. So it's kind of a weird quirk of it where the camera gets just reset to the spy puppy's POV. And who wouldn't want to see a spy puppy? Who cares about a guard, you know? Nobody likes guards. They're blind anyways. 
<laughs> oh no. Uh, but yeah. There's three guards here, and you have to do them all individually, which is a really questionable design choice, but, you know. I could imagine the guards getting stuck on each other and it just being a mess. So I kind of get it. It does suck, though, that we can't just do all three at once. But, you know, oh well. So for this, for these next sections, again, I will remind you, we are not meant to be in the action suit. And one thing you'll notice is that Barbie is, like, crouching down a little bit. What's happening, I... Th Here's my theory on it, is that because we're meant to be in the stealth suit, and a stealth suit exclusive animation is supposed to be playing, but because it can't play it, it freezes the landing animation of when we jump. And, yeah, and it just freezes it. If you go high, if you jump off of that rock there, this cutscene plays. I don't know why, but yeah, you're not meant to jump off of that rock. Good job. Keep going. Here's a really weird laser that you can sometimes go under. The cycles in this level are really inconsistent. Uh, it's weird. Sure oh yeah, because Barbie's down. ducking down a little bit, it aids in going under the lasers when we can't roll, obviously. So yeah, that's very useful. This level with the stealth suit is long and boring, trust me. Each, it's like almost tied with the original each one without skips in this game, but this level still does end up being pretty long, but it's still, it's not like 12 minutes long, or thir no, it's 13 minutes, 13 or 12 minutes, somewhere around there, but instead we make it around like 7. Seven or eight. It depends on if I fail. Because I don't expect to make this flawlessly. Uh, in that section, you can actually jump over two lasers at once, but I'm a loser, so I don't do that. <laughs> Barbie, it is what it is. I'm going to try a strat here called Goose Strat. Uh, it was found by someone just casually playing the game uh, and activating a cutscene glitch. Uh, I'm supposed to activate this, this looks like the right spot. and then we stand near this, activate this, okay. and then we go back into it. And that activates a cutscene, but because these puzzles pause the game, oh I'm doing the wrong puzzle, wrong combination, whoops. Because this pauses the game, the cutscene has not happened yet. Uh, something funny is that if you go into Paris 1, get caught by a guard to go into the birdbath puzzle, um, you, you pause the guard stopping you, but the second you finish the puzzle, you get caught. So that's a funny thing that can also happen. Like, the, the puzzle straight up pause the game. Okay, we're gonna interrupt the voice lines here, and now we're gonna be put into another stealth suit. Again, we're supposed to be in, like, a secret suit. We're actually supposed to be in this suit, but it's stealthy, because we made a translucent suit. Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned that, that's important to the plot as well. We make a translucent suit, and it works for both stealth and, uh, action suit. But, because we skipped the stealth suit, it was a little bit worthless to make it. Oh well. Uh, I skipped a cutscene there, just by, you know, using my mind and the wrist splatter. You know, it's, it's not a necessary cutscene, you can just do the wrist splatter, get through with it. Uh, here's... Oop, here's some lasers. This, oh, I'm bad at the game. <laughs> Told you this was not gonna be flawless. Uh, yep, here's some lasers. This is like a spiral section, basically. And it's a little bit interesting, I guess. Oh yeah, those lasers disappear and reappear. A lot of people just think they're invisible and they get cheated out of uh, winning the game. But nope, they just disappear and appear. That's intentional. Here we're gonna do a skip called Big Nose Skip. Um, I don't know why it's named that. I just... I can name any of these whatever I want to. And basically because I did that, we we're now able to move during this cutscene. But because of these floating platforms, we will just wait here, because it's really hard to... The minimap can't really aid you for 
the, uh, these platforms because they don't appear on the platforms. In a second, we are about to have time, uh, Soul Claw, just so you know. Uh, activate a cutscene glitch here. Okay, yeah. So, in... Now, there's time, yeah. That's the end of the game. Uh, all right. Yeah. On my end, I know that we skipped a little bit at the start of the game, so you probably got like just under 48 minutes, I would say. I think uh, well, guys, under 49. Yeah. I forgot to under stop. 49. I forgot to stop my split timer. I I split late, but I got a 48:57, which is it's an alright run, you know. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that was wonderful. That, that was awesome. I love seeing this game. It's just so incredibly broken. <laughs> so yeah, it's. It's a blast. Uh -huh. We had one yeah. crash, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. You know, yeah. we had uh, we had a lot of crashes this marathon. Yeah, that's okay. That's the Barbie game way. So thank exactly. you so much for showing that off. I'm really glad that we were able to show off both Sab games this yep. weekend. And uh, nobody better to do them, really. You're, you're just in it for Sab. So. I, I love Sab. Uh, if anybody has any questions about any of the Sab games, like if they want to run it or just... <laughs> anything please come to me i would love to help you you know love to help you get it set yeah. up or just learn some tricks i love this yeah. game and i want more people to play it <laughs> <laughs> yeah well uh we always want that we always want people to get interested in barbie speed running and if you yeah. guys are not already um in the barbie speedrunning discord and you happen to be interested in getting into speedrunning any barbie game for any platform um you know feel free to join our discord we've got the link on the screen and you can type exclamation point discord in the chat to get the link uh mm -hmm. clickable right there for you to join other than that we will be moving on to eight bits of joy running uh barbie three musketeers for the ds Woo! coming up and then after that we will have sharif's barbie shuffler and that'll be the end of the marathon. So we are closing in on the end of our final day. Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you guys have enjoyed everyone. <laughs>